Our Computex 2019 coverage is made possible thanks to Corsair, Patriot, EK, Titra, and Viper Gaming. Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and we're here with Gigabyte just looking at some of kind of the notebooks that they're going to be bringing out to the market. So as we know, kind of Gigabyte have been putting a big focus on their notebook team uh, and sort of what they're actually doing in terms of bringing the latest specs to the market in terms of sort of graphics and CPU performance. So just looking for a couple of the models that they've actually got here. Uh, first up, we've got this beast, which is the Aura 17. So basically, um, being one of the current lineup, it has got the latest Intel 9th gen processor. Uh, so you can actually choose, depending on sort of of your budget and what SKU you want to go for, you can go for either the uh, i9 or the i7 uh, processor. In terms of the GPU, it does support the RTX 20 series. Uh, I believe you can put a 2070 or even a 2080 in here. Obviously, it is quite a big design. It's aimed at kind of, you know, a, a certain type of people. So it has got a full HD screen, 144 hertz, so perfect for kind of your fast-paced gaming. In terms of gaming features as well, it has got other features such as kind of a killer Ethernet LAN as well as Wi-Fi 6, AX 1650. Has also got a, uh, a hi-fi uh, audio DAC in here as well, so you are going to get really good quality audio for when you are gaming. As we move over here, uh, you can see that we've got the Aorus 15. So uh, we're actually doing um, some, some work on uh, one of these at the moment. So again, you can have an i7 processor in here and um, uh, in terms of graphics card, you can decide to go for an RTX graphics card. So you'd be looking at a 2070 or I believe a 2080 again. Uh, it has got an amazing screen on this. So this particular one uh, is the Sharp 240 hertz full HD screen. Uh, but again, depending on the spec, what country you're in, that kind of thing, you can go for uh, a full HD 144 hertz screen. So kind of, you know, depends again on your budget. They're trying to cater for, I guess, a little bit of everyone depending on what budget they actually have uh, you know available to buy a notebook moving uh, sort of down the line we've got the aura 7 so uh, a slightly different chassis on this this is kind of full aluminium uh, a slight sort of change in design compared to what we've seen in the past uh, but again really really good spec so uh, you can have this with an i7 processor it's a 17.3 inch laptop with a 144 hertz uh, IPS screen on here. So really, really good. Now, one of the key things I actually want to mention with Aorus, uh, sort of not just on this laptop, but on all their laptops, is they are one of the only manufacturers who use Samsung memory. So you'll find with the likes of Dell, uh, HP, and some other brands out there, they kind of tend to use a bit of everyone, which can be, I guess, a good thing in terms of availability, but it does mean that you know, you're know you going to get a lot of variances between you know, uh, maybe a review that we've done compared to then one that you're going to go out and buy. Whereas with Gigabyte, they, they kind of tend to focus on using Samsung memory so they know that kind of everything's consistent. I mean, Samsung memory is some of the best out there on the market. So uh, moving sort of further down the line, we have the Aorus 5. So uh, a slightly sort of smaller, slimmer, sleeker design. Uh, with this, uh, again, ninth gen, you can have an i7 processor in here. And then um, with this particular one, it's got a GTX 1660 in there. So kind of aimed more at, you know, your, your budget conscious people who want to play sort of some of the latest uh, sort of free to play games, uh, the likes of Fortnite, Apex Legends, uh, or even, you know, if you're a hardcore CSGO, uh, user. Obviously full uh, backlit RGB uh, individual key, uh, key uh, keypad on here as well and just a really nice sleek kind of design. Uh, there are a few you know other features in terms of you know the Nahemic audio and obviously killer connectivity as well. Now as we sort of move further down uh, they're just kind of showing off a few things based around um, not just the fact that they do gaming laptops, they have got something a little bit different you know, for the creators in us. So for instance, they've got this, this is the Aero 15 OLED. So straight away, you'll notice the screen looks absolutely superb. Yes, of course, there is always a fear of kind of having burn in and stuff like that. But to be honest, I don't think that's really going to matter. Again, we're looking at an i7 or an i9 processor in here. So for content creation, that's going to be absolutely perfect. And you can have it with an RTX 20 series or a GTX 16 series. It's got a 4K Samsung, uh, Samsung AMOLED panel and again, Samsung DRAM. So and just the general design of it is kind of like a, an off whitey silvery blue. It's got a really nice style to it. Quite reminiscent, I guess, of a, kind of a MacBook. So, you wouldn't be afraid of getting this out in the middle of a coffee shop, but still being able to take it home and do some gaming on it compared to sort of, you know, some more kind of gaming orientated laptops out in the market. Now, a really cool thing that they actually have over here is uh, they're showing off one of their, their Aero 15 uh, laptops and they've showed a score for Firestrike. But what they've also got is this great big chamber over here where, as you can see, they've, uh, they've actually um, 
sort of done the test on this first laptop, got 16,982 in Firestroke, which is a, a pretty good score. Uh, but over here inside this chamber, they have an identical model laptop. So again, the Aero 15 uh, inside there, but they're actually, they've cooled it down to essentially uh, give or take zero degrees Celsius. And what you're actually able to see is the score is 17,062. So in the grand scheme of things, when you actually think about it, um, the, the differences between the test results on this and the one that's sitting at zero degrees are basically around the same give or take margin of error, which shows that kind of the cooling performance of this is absolutely fantastic in comparison to one that they've kind of artificially put down to zero degrees. Lots of cool stuff going on here with Gigabyte, and I'm really excited to sort of see what else they're going to be doing with their notebook division, uh, sort of, you know, on the Gigabyte side, as well as, I guess, the Aorus kind of gaming laptop side. But I really, really like the Aero 15 AMOLED. Uh, great specs and just an amazing looking screen. Let me know in the comments section below which one is your favorite, and uh, be sure to check out the rest of our Computex coverage while we're here in Taipei, Taiwan, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.